work, I didn't exactly know how it was going to sound. And I had just been, I had been thinking about it and hoping that something would come. And I just opened my mouth and there it was. Cool. Very nice. And I was like, yeah, let's keep it going. Why, why not? There are worse things out tonight than vampires. Like what? Like me. He's part human and part vampire. I mean, he has some rather weird eyes. It would probably attract more attention were he not to wear the shades. He's trying to be a shadow warrior. We got no mask, no cape, no tights, none of that. You know, straight up man. Once the haircut fell into place and the tattoos fell into place, everything else, that, that's, it just started working. I had a lot of input in everything, actually. You know, but we have to find something that's practical. You know, he has a coat. Uh, he has the weapons. We took a lot of inspiration from the original comic book and what people are who are familiar with the comic book are familiar with. And uh, did some innovations on it, brought it up to date, made it chic, made it funky, made it slick and, and beautiful. Still heavy, but you're so big. How do you kill the, the vampires in this movie? Quickly, thoroughly, with extreme prejudice. <laughs> no, you don't have to hit a guy in this. We're not, we're not beating a guy up with 200 punches, you know, take him out. No, very applicable things. You know, very dynamic and filled with a lot of emotional content. Wait a minute. You use me as bait? Get over it. It's that comic book world. And in that world there is the chaos. And in that world beneath, which is he considers the real world, it is violent. You better wake up. The world you live in is just a sugar-coated topping. There is another world beneath it. The real world. You know, I always keep the martial arts up, uh, in my life. But we stepped it up, really focusing on techniques and. Um, how to make the techniques work within the choreography and still be exciting and dynamic but not lose the integrity of how it was supposed to relate to his emotional state. Yeah. A um, lot of sword work. <laughs> Early stages we spent about uh, maybe a month ahead of time choreographing almost all of the fight scenes and uh, I would do it in my outfit, do it in, do it in the costume. Any it's accidents? like a play. Hmm? Any mishaps? A couple of times, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I stabbed a guy in the leg with a wooden sword once. <laughs> All of the stuff I've always wanted to do and do it the way I want it to be seen and the way I know people will appreciate it. 